Good day. This is Chris in the MathCAD Education Program, and today we're going to talk about using live math for self-mentoring in MathCAD. In order to do this, we're going to look at a simple problem um, from an, maybe an Algebra 2 class where we might rewrite an equation that's in vertex form for a parabola in the more general form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. If we're going to do this using MathCAD, the first thing I would probably do is maybe identify that as vertex form and just format a little bit by moving that there and rewrite the original equation using the Boolean equal sign that I am a very big fan of for its ability to allow students to express their work. And then the student might be working down the page, as I'll show you here. If they're a capable student, which I'm sure many of yours are, if 2 times x squared plus 6x plus 9, if we square the binomial x plus 3 squared, and we have the minus 5 at the end. Now, even capable students sometimes make mistakes. As I will hear, as I'm working through the problem, perhaps I've got through the step I was nervous about, and I feel pretty good about x squared plus 6x plus 9, and then the next step, I make a mistake, and then I simplify everything. like this. Looks great, right? I've got myself a nice polynomial, and now what am I going to do? Well, generally, if I were working on my homework with pencil and paper, I might look at this and say, cool, that looks, that looks correct. That's what it should be. Now, in MathCAD, here's what I can do. I'm going to define an index variable, and I'm going to give it values from 1 to 10. So I'll type 1, comma, 2, semicolon, which gives me an ellipsis, 10. And now I've defined x as the values from 1 to 10. And I'm going to take the expression um, of the parabola from my original equation, 2 times x plus 3 squared minus 5 and hit equals. And if I scroll down, that function has now been evaluated. Now, I'll take this expression, which I could copy, but I will type it. 2x squared, I'm hitting the space bar to go down there, plus 6x, plus 4, equals. And now I have these two, which I want to align, and I can see that I've got a problem. Hmm. Rather than just think out loud, maybe I'll make a note to myself. Um, the numbers are not equal. Uh, my answer returns values that are too low. We don't often do this type of thinking in an algebra class when we're working with pencil and paper. This is what-if thinking. So if my values are too low, what might that mean? Hmm. Well, perhaps I've made a mistake and I'm missing a term, or something's happened. So I want to go back now and look at my work and see if I can come up with something that will help me um, to figure out why my values are too low. And when I look at the steps that I have, which are clearly um, shown here, and if I'm thinking carefully, hmm, okay, yeah, it looks like I've made a mistake here. Now I can go back and say 2x squared plus 12x plus 18, which would then give me 2x squared plus 12x plus 13, which I want to change here as so. Aha! Uh -huh. Now I have fixed the problem, and I know that my answer is correct. Right. When I think about how MathCAD is functioning here, I think that it's providing excellent feedback. And we're still showing the work, we're still doing the work, but at the end of the problem, 
we get to assess our work by using some of MathCAD's capabilities, in this case the index variable. And then MathCAD is helping to mentor students and help them to discover their own mistakes, correct their work, and explain their thinking clearly. Thank you very much. I hope this tip was helpful, and good luck in your math classes.